All right, the Hillstead Museum right off of Route 4 in Farmington is a real hidden gem. Once home to a prominent family who made their fortune investing in the railroad in the late 1800s. It's now a museum and preserved just how it was left way back in 1946. You might be surprised to find out what's inside. Melissa Cole stopped by for a tour. Take a look. The founder of Hillstead, Theodate Pope Riddle. The story of how this house, now a museum, came to be is a fascinating one. The Hillstead Museum's executive director, Anna Swinborn, takes us back to when Theodate Pope was a teenager. She was born in Cleveland, and at the end of her teens, her parents sent her to Miss Porter's school down the hill to finish her. Back then, it was considered a finishing school. When she graduated, they said it's time to come back to Cleveland and enter society. She had no intention of doing that. She had fallen in love with Farmington, and then a trip to Europe inspired two dreams, becoming an architect and having a farm. In 1901, she, the, this house is built, Theodate designs it. So as a woman, she's not allowed to go to architecture school. And so she trains herself with the help of some tutors, and her father hires a very prominent firm in New York City to approve the drawings. They build the house and it becomes their retirement home. So instead of going back to Cleveland to be with family, her family came to Farmington to live in this beautiful home on a full working farm. This was the morning room, it was daddy's office. That door led out onto his own golf course. Oh wow. Which was part of the property right outside the porch. In those cupboards, they were custom made and fitted and sized to hold daddy's golf clubs. Aside from all the special details, what's really show-stopping in this home? The artwork. The paintings themselves could easily, easily be on the walls of Musée d'Orsay, the Metropolitan Museum of Art. Um, but they are here in the domestic setting that they were intended for. Above the fireplace is one of Monet's rare early works. Before it was here, the Popes had it in their New York City apartment, which caught fire in 1899. The popes paid young men to go into the burning building to save it. Is this little object right here, which is this early Monet painting turned on its side. What this photograph has done in the snapshot is captured that moment of rescue of this masterpiece. On to the drawing room where guests would retire after dinner to play games or music on the Steinway piano. And of course, admire more impressionist art. This is one of the two Monet haystacks in the collection. So Hillstead is one of three museums in the United States that can say they have two Monet haystacks. We're together with the Art Institute of Chicago and the Museum of Fine Arts in Boston. The setting, farmland outside of Paris. This one is an early morning winter scene and this one is full summer midday. Other notable art around the home is by Degas who often painted dancers and nude portraits. The dining room features large paintings of Mr. and Mrs. Pope, for whom the house was built, and an even larger dining room table. This table itself, when all of the leaves are included, it can, it can expand to chandelier to chandelier. Wow. The table can seat up to 20, and the people that came and sat at the table, many luminaries from the beginning of the 20th century. So you have all of the Roosevelts who are here, Henry James, Whistler, the artist, Mary Cassatt, the artist. There was a very famous English suffragette leader. Her name was Emmeline Pankhurst. Um, she gave this groundbreaking speech in Hartford called Freedom or Death in 1913. And Theodate actually picked her up from the train station in Hartford, brought her here to a party and a reception. To be a fly on the wall for all of those conversations right here at this very table. So many people have driven by this property a million times, right? But yes. not really understood what was inside. The, I think the vast, I, I wouldn't even dare to guess how many thousands and hundreds of thousands of people have passed by this property and have even actually come onto this property and don't actually have a clear understanding of what the institution is and the resources that it has to offer. Yeah, it's a real gem. Uh, beyond. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Um, they say hidden gem. I think it's more the great unknown.
The Hillstead Museum is open for tours Thursday through Sunday. Just go to hillstead.org for more information. It really is uh, an unbelievable It's place. beautiful, and everyone who goes there says, oh, my gosh. I, I just, wish I know. I would have gone there sooner. Yes, and that how lucky we are to have that right here in Connecticut. I which, mean, didn't they have poetry in the, in the garden, I think, at the Hillstead? Maybe, and they've had some beautiful, back when we had events, beautiful outdoor events that beautiful. we do support charity. So, but nice, you know, everyone's looking for something to do during the pandemic. That's a nice thing you can yeah. do with just your family. It's safe and you can go inside and learn something.